Solar lights convert light from the sun into electrical power, offering a garden lighting solution that's eco-friendly and free to run. However, while they can be a beautiful addition to any garden, they can vary in quality. Here's some things to consider when you're choosing a set. Firstly, consider which type of lights would work best for your space and the lighting effect you're trying to achieve. Fairy and string lights are narrowly spaced strings of small, dim LEDs, ideal for atmospheric lighting. They tend to be the most colourful type too. Solar spotlights brightly light up a single area. They're good for dark spots that could benefit from bright light, like alleyways, and are great for uplighting trees. If you're lighting a path, there are a couple of options. Fence lights, which are small lights that attach to fence posts and illuminate your boundary, and stake lights, one of the most common types of lighting, which are simple stakes with bulbs at the top for low-level lighting. They're also useful for gently illuminating flower beds. Finally, there are solar lanterns. In the shape of a traditional lantern, they tend to be LED bulbs covered in frosted plastic or glass for a soft, candlelight glow. A big issue with solar lights is value for money. All too often you can buy a set for the summer and when you get them out the following year, they don't work and need replacing. This can be frustrating and it's wasteful. To make sure your lights last, aim to find a warranty of at least two years. Keep your lights clean and look for lights that offer replaceable batteries, bulbs and solar panels if any of them break. When summer's over, store them carefully during winter. You should also look out for a good IP or ingress protection rating. IP ratings indicate how easily dust and water can enter electronics. If your solar lights are outside permanently, aim for ones with an IP rating of 44 and above, which means they'll at least be weather resistant. Light patterns that twinkle or glow can extend the life of the battery and keep your lights on for longer at night. A motion sensor can also extend your light's lifetime by only switching them on when there's activity nearby, which is particularly useful for solar spotlights and means you won't have constant brightness. It's also better for your neighbours and wildlife, as it means they won't be disturbed by the lights in your garden. Once you've decided what type of light you would like, make sure you're opting for the right size and brightness for your space. A small trellis is unlikely to need a long string of 100 lights or a brightness that's more than a few lumens, which is the light output of solar lights. 50 lumens is plenty for ambient background lighting, and 100 to 200 lumens is all you need to light up a path. Finally, before you choose, consider how your lights might affect local wildlife. Bright lights can be harmful to nocturnal creatures like bats as it disrupts their sleep and mating cycles and makes them visible to their prey. To ensure lighting doesn't disturb wildlife, keep some of your garden dark. Angle your lights so they're facing towards the ground and pick lights with as few lumens as possible. Make sure you're only lighting up the garden when you need to by choosing lights with motion sensors or by turning off your lights before you go to bed.